Welcome back. Let's talk business now. Equity Bank Group has released its quarter three report indicating that the bank has disbursed 214 billion shillings to customers in digital loans. According to the lender, the suppressed economy has seen the Kenyan subsidiary struggle compared to other regional subsidiaries, with the DRC unit continuing to make great strides. As Jimmy Mbogot, the bank has remained bullish that DRC will not experience any forex losses owing to their dollar deposits. Suppressed Kenyan economy, depreciating currency, and global volatility have caused Equity Bank Kenya's net earning to drop by 20% to 19.3 billion shillings. Uh, this is the first time that the subsidiary has taken such a hit in nearly a decade with the group recording a mere 5% growth in net earning for the nine months of the year to stand at 36.2 billion shillings, largely on stable earnings on subsidiaries outside Kenya. According to the CEO, Dr. James Mwangi, the bank has been forced to use its profit and loss account to shield its customers, registering a yield on loan of only 12.1% and lower than the interest earning from government securities at 18%. So we chose not to pass over the additional cost of borrowing uh, because the liability or the funding side did be priced. Uh, inflation affected our operating cost. We decided to absorb that. And as everybody will see from uh, PNL, our interest expense grew much faster than the interest income because we didn't pass that cost to the customers. The same with the cost of operating the bank grew much faster than interest income. But again, we didn't pass that cost. So we said, this time, let's choose the customers. Our uh, profit will come later. For the last nine months, the bank has also demonstrated significant growth in its digital lending platform, disbursing 214 billion shillings to customers, representing a 90% year-on-year growth, even as the management alluded to a change in strategy of opting to go for volumes as opposed to margins due to the harsh economic environment in the country. Even as equity sets its sight on outpacing telco giant Safaricom on digital loans, Safaricom's full user platform disbursed a record 419 billion shillings in the half year to September. This is not the consumer type lending, but it's equity actually showing up for their customers to give them working capital finance. While Kenyans are going through a difficult period, it was important for us to keep showing that support, to keep um, their businesses running, to keep their businesses going, and we develop that business line to be able to do that and for them to be able to do it conveniently and 100% digitally um, at the convenience of their businesses. That line of business is operating at 96% repayment rate, which is one of the best in the markets. So while we are having a problem on the asset quality of the longer term loans, these shorter term working capital loans are still coming through to help Kenyans and they are able to repay those loans. We are the most affordable because we use bank rates. So we may be as low as uh, four times cheaper than some actors in the market. Meaning, just as the market gets to do, we shall crowd in that entire lending. And that's how many says we should be able to achieve our 35 million individual borrowers. Equity Bank DRC subsidiary posted a 142% net profit to 11.4 billion shillings, while the Tanzania subsidiary posted 136% growth in net earnings. In comparison to other subsidiaries, Equity Bank Kenya is now evenly matched at 50-50 on profit after tax, while the profit before tax level stood at 46 to 54 split. The local subsidiary, however, saw an increase in its non-performing loan at 15.8% compared to an average of 12.2% for the group, even as the lender's loan book notably grew by 25.5% to 845.9 billion shillings. Jimmy Mbogo, KTN News. Now, Old Mutual Health has partnered with Halton's Pharmacy and Good Life Pharmacy to launch an innovative...